All right. Good morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you might be in time and space here. Time and space here? No, time and space. Period. Kinius here. Yeah, that's right. My brain. It has been a, a difficult day. That's neither here nor there, so let's not worry about that. But okay, we're back for number three. I didn't get as far as I wanted to today. Again, just because of things today. But I did get everybody on their career path. So I in the uh, in the first two live streams, I've created the first group of eight. And that is um do 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 Sims here. So I've created a few doctors, like three doctors, uh two or three cops, maybe two cops that are going to become detectives. Two politicians, and the odd one out was an astronaut. I was trying to generate one uh, more randomly, and it came up to be an astronaut. So I now have um, this group here all working now. So I'm going to try to streamline the process when creating the next group. I'm not sure exactly. Um, maybe by having all uh, move these guys out and have let them leave all their books and i've got to try to uh find a way to just kind of speed this entire process up a little bit how to get them up to speed at least to you know a couple of logic points writing points their basic skills up a little bit before throwing them into the careers and then trying to let them go as npcs so if you're wondering well, what is what exactly are you trying to do well recently i read an article I haven't played for a long, long time. Um, I played the, you know, the the horse ranch, and I was doing cyber slickers. And um, let me get back to that. I don't know. But prior to that, I was used to uh, playing Sim City, and in the Sims Two, I think that was, that's what it was, Sims Two or Sims Three, um, where you could own businesses downtown. I got really into the idea of of owning everything and trying to control things, society, um, by the type of sims that you have in your environment. So I've been wondering now with the new, this new neighborhood, um, um, upgrade that they, that they have, uh, put into the sims. It allows the, uh, NPCs and the sims that you create to interact more meaningful, to have relationships and to affect each other, right? So the other night, playing with my significant other, she brought up the fact that everybody's been dying. And I said, well, have you tried creating some more doctors? She says, no, I hadn't thought about that. And I'm like, I hadn't either, just a random thought. And that's how kind of this came about. So creating a bunch of specialist characters to see if, you know, the life expectancy, like in the Sim, like in Sim City, if you have uh, good medical facilities, overlapping medical facilities, uh, then your Sims live longer. They're healthier. They, in industrial uh, accidents, they heal better. They're, you know, accidents, whatever, they'll, uh, they'll recover better. Something like that. Um, same with crime. You know, if you have more police out there, then, you know, it controls crime and you have a happier citizenry. So it's kind of those idea, the SimCity idea, that I want to create specialized characters, doctors, uh, cops, politicians. Um, right now, one of the, the things that they're doing in this particular neighborhood is the water conservation. Well, they'll shut the water off for like 12 hours. You know, and all these professionals have got to have their water. They've been freaking out a couple of times when they can't get to the shower. And, um, you know, it's three in the morning. We're not going to run them to the gym kind of thing. So things like that. Influencing politics. I've never done a political career before. So I'm wondering, you know, what kind of controls and support? What Just what can you do? What can be done? And that's what this series of live streams is basically going to be about. I started realizing last night, maybe I've broken off more than I can chew. Because just, uh, you know, one day alone. 
trying to get these guys running. But I'm sure I'll get faster at it uh, as I go. So, again, they're all now uh, in their careers. I kind of rushed it a little bit. I wanted some them to have a little bit more points and build up their skills in a little bit more. But they were starting to run out of money. And so it's important that I get them all to work. Let me show you their residence. Down here, it's just about this little tiny place. And I'm managing to, and I bought a couple of couches so they all have a place to sit or pass out. And basically, other than that, a couple of extra showers. I'm supposed to join him in the hospital. A couple extra showers, a couple extra toilets, and a bunch of beds. Now, this job I'm supposed to do to help him, uh, some of these jobs, you, the only way you can really get him promoted is by going to do the job. So, I kind of had better luck with this guy than the cop character yesterday. Anyway, let me get back to it a little bit and turn up some music for your enjoyment here. I'm using the Pretzel app for YouTube live, uh, YouTube live streaming safe music. I've just got it on the ambient station right at the moment. He's already uncomfortable. He's hungry. Okay. All right. So I didn't do my time management very well yesterday. I really had never done the uh, doctor path before. So let me get myself set up here. There's a patient right there to deliver food to. Uh, let's do this. Dog here. Crap in order. Yep, he's mighty hungry. Okay, as soon as that ticks off, pause. Okay, that's that's done. Pause. Come on, go, go, go. bathroom come on now go 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 no time to waste go go what are you doing you're supposed to jog here what are you doing are you mopping up more puddles you don't need to do that it's not what you want to do Jog, man, jog.
Well, you would go to the computer right around and Hey, Jog. Make a bed. some snacks around here. Come on, Doc. Run. Daylight's burning, Doc. Come on. Uh huh. hand over the food come on you not do it while he's chatting come on.
Mm -mm. That sounds really good. Time to run across the facility again. Can we make a bed over here? Doing much better than yesterday. No beds to make. She needs cup of coffee. Come on, man. Come on. You're so close. Come on. You did it. You did it, doctor. I think Is that all of them. Thirty eight minutes left. Make a bed. Complain about co workers. They're all made. First complain.
Ah, complaints. No, there's no complaint about co worker. All right, well, let's stay late. Darn it, darn it, darn it. Complain about work. work Uh, such a drag. I just need one more thing. I'm not getting the uh, interaction that I need. Or I'm doing something wrong.
There it is. We're gonna talk. Better hurry, man. Promoted. So yeah, I'm thinking about uh, maybe moving these eight out because I bought all those books and that would give a head start to the next group of eight. Or maybe I don't have to spend so much time with them in the first few days. If we have all the proper books they need so they don't kill themselves. Saturday, 5 o'clock p.m. And they're all here. Let's take them all out on the town. They deserve a night off. Get their dance on real quick. Oh, why can't they group dance group? Uh, group dance. Hmm. And they're not all here. Who's missing? No, oh, they're here.
Not at all, Doc. You gotta learn to love it. Oh well, just let them go. Now they can mingle and chat with other NPCs. This is one of my criminals. Fingers. Fingers. Uh, and this is one of my police officers. But I think I don't remember. I haven't played him in so long. I played him a long time ago. But I think these guys are mostly like computer embezzlers and stuff. I don't think that they're you know like street thugs, pickpockets, or anything like that. Mischief. So I am starting to wonder about how important it is that you introduce them to every NPC you can. So not just having doctors or cops in your town, but that the people have to know them? I don't know. I don't know. And I don't know if there's any sort of ways you can check stats, like how many people have died and, you know, how do you know if the mortality rate is going down or up or, or the crime levels or, don't know about any of that yet.
Got a werewolf? after midnight in the sims there so let him get a little food in him a little drink in him and then um, we'll get him back home they're all starting to turn red so today was pretty successful we got one promoted and introduced a lot of them to the NPCs here. Got a little fame, a little raise their dancing a little bit. So if you tuned into any part of last night, you may have heard me talk about doing this off for a minute. Do a little rant. 8.43 in the uh, evening here. So one of my big hopes, and uh, it may be a, a pipe dream, but we've seen Microsoft come back after, you know, a dozen years to decide to make a uh, flight simulator again and you know after they quit and they're like well no more flight simulators from microsoft but they they came back and they came back in a huge stellar way you know and that gives me hope that certain franchises that are dead can come back so like people are really questioning you know has sims really run its course and with sims 5 coming up all that they've talked about so far is like multiplayer and that's not a bad idea when you're thinking about well all your sims are going to collectively you know uh, shape the societies that you create right but also um bringing back sim city play you know so what's the point of creating a politician if you can't end up running the cities and controlling the taxes and or have a politician that's good at contributions and raising money for the city or having you know, up uh, an abundance of cops or abundance of doctors, right? So I'm really hoping that they bring back SimCity. I'm really hoping that now that you know this is 14 years old, 
right? And the possibilities of what can be done now are endless. And as we move into the future further, more and more, I mean, everything's possible. So I would like to bring them, them to bring back uh, Simcopter and Sim Tower. Now that we've got for rent and you're going to want to create, who knows, you might be a fanatic. I might turn into a fanatic and just endlessly create Sims all day long to fill up towers of people. Because in Sim City you have populations that are 250 thousand five hundred thousand right so creating 200 or more unique sims for your cities uh to influence them right so they're superior sims they're not your typical sim they're superior sims because you've created them um streets of sim city so you get your some action play you know high action and adventure in a, in with your sims titles so uh that's kind of where I was hoping with all of this. Like, if if they're at this stage now and we can create these and with the influences working properly again, supposedly, that having these specialized sims in your towns, you know, will make a difference. That having more doctors will uh, lower mortality rates and sickness rates and, and the sims dying. And having more police will control crime. It used to work that way because in Sims 2, when I had a group of criminals running around, everybody was unhappy. I created lots of criminals and they wreaked havoc and made the whole town mad. And there was um, riots at City Hall, you know, petitions outside of City Hall because the crime was so bad. So then I created a detective wing and I created a bunch of detectives. And all of a sudden, uh, after a while, those detectives were really doing their job catching all the criminals and everybody in the town was happy again and so i got a taste of you know the possibilities back then and then with sims 4 when i started playing I'm, none of that was there i was just so disappointed and then i didn't want to play anymore i'm like forget it if they're gonna dumb it down to that where you know it's just meaningless you know and they said it's well it's kind of back now well and that's what this is all kind of trying to accomplish is creating groups of specialized sims and seeing what kind of influence that they can have in the long run. But yeah, there's going to be a lot of work. All right, it's Sunday now. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday in the sims. And I pretty much kind of let them do whatever they want to do on Sundays. We're gonna have to go through all the books. They've been hoarding books. Nobody's taking the rocketry book. Well, you need you can read fitness number two. Doc, what do you got? Picked up some wellness books for you.
passed out. I guess another question is, is if you let him go as NPCs, do they keep working and do they keep raising money? Something in my gut is starting to tell me maybe not. So if I leave them alone for a week, will it come back? You know, what will, the, what will their money be? Probably the same. Who's going? Need to get one another one promoted. Oh, it's him again. Dr. Thompson. and he's coming to work completely drained.
Like I'm not having none of it. can't do check a patient's eyes or they've been diagnosed I didn't get very far today. All right. Let it go then. Run out. Not writing.
Sell those, huh? Um, you don't need to sleep.
All right, so enough logic books that everybody could have one, enough handiness in cooking that everybody could have one. So again, if I move them out and then move in another group of eight, uh, then that might be a way to jumpstart the next group by having, you know, one of every one of those books in their inventories or available to them. That's how we spent the most money. We've spent the absolute most money on books. I think like 20,000 on books. That's crazy. $700 a book. That's ridiculous. In what world? I don't understand the sim sometimes. are you reading <laughs> very nice
Wow, he's been doing well. His charisma's already a five. She's got the sniffles. Where do you buy it? Do you have to buy it from the computer?
guess I shouldn't have all given him the first name of doctor. And then when it pops up, I don't know which doctor they're talking about sending to work. I didn't notice that somebody was in my chat room. Angelique Nova. Sorry, uh, I'm not used to anybody chatting with me, and so I wasn't looking, and I deeply apologize. Angelique's probably not there anymore, but Angelique was asking, so I don't understand what's happening here. Okay, exercising and... Right, it was a Sunday. It's now Monday. Uh, just trying to raise up this first group of eight specialists. So I've created some doctors. Let me turn this down here. So I've created uh, my first group, which consists of a couple of doctors, and I'm going to probably create some more, and a couple of police officers. I want to get them raised up to detective, and I'm trying to create uh, some politicians, and I've got one astronaut. She's the odd one out. So I'm trying to create uh, specialists, and now that there's uh, neighborhood interactions and the NPCs can all interact with each other better and inter uh, influence each other. My questions are, when you have more and more specialists, for example, doctors and crime fighters in, in particular, you know, will the overall health of the community be stronger? Right? There's a lot of, uh, with this new network, uh, ne neighborhood system that they've implemented as well, a lot more random things happen. People are dying more frequently. That's kind of how it all started. I was listening to my wife play, uh, listening to her talk about her, her gameplay, and she's like, I can't believe how many people have died already. It's like, they're dying left and right. And I'm like, well, maybe, uh, you know, have you tried having more doctors? It's like, I've never created any doctors. And so I started thinking, hmm. Uh, I wonder if there's any chance of that. So the more doctors you have, the, you know, and that's the way it works in SimCity. And in the future, I'm hoping that they bring back SimCity and that uh, we can start creating fully functional cities. I mean, we're talking about the ultimate Sims game here. Uh, because on their own, they all do really well. I mean, like Cities is doing really well. Now the SimCity is dead, which I can't believe they've killed. Uh, and I want them to bring it back. Cities does really well. All these other simulations game really do do well on their own, but they need to bring them all together. So we need to be able to have SimCity type play in the Sims. And we need, uh, uh, they really need to come together more. So city building and simulation and Sims, da 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 da. 
in one grand unified thing. And I know we're talking probably talking about like DLC, absolute DLC hell. Oops. I'm supposed to help be helping this guy get promoted. And uh got distracted with the text there. Okay, so get a case assignment. And his energy sucks. That's too bad. After all that resting on Sunday. So yeah, and then with like these guys, you know, to, the only way to get them promoted is you have to do, take you have to go to work with them and and try to have them do all their stuff. the booking station. How do you put it back in a cell? Search criminal at the booking station.
Yeah, poor Joe. He's tired. Had him doing all those sit-ups. Didn't get enough sleep. But look at that belly on him. report from us. Just facts, ma'am. Pass straight out. This music's starting to be a little weird. Need something a little bit more uh, upbeat. not gonna make it 
I did all right. He got promoted. Joe, just go to sleep, man. Don't be drinking any coffee. So we just doing it. Yeah, what I'm trying to do, this is my first group of eight sims, specialist sims that I'm creating. Doctors, policemen, and some politicians. I'm a curious man, some curious genes. I get that from my dad. I'm the far from the tree. I feel like I'm a butterfly. Sting like a beamer. It's kind of like my little dorm for my specialist sims at the moment. So in the last, the first two live streams, what I've been doing is trying to get them raised up. You know, it's uh, basically you're playing eight sims at once and you're trying to create specialists out of them. And so you've got to get them advanced in their career pretty quickly. Just kind of beeline it. So I've been buying all specialty books, you know, for them to learn stuff. In the first few days, really just setting up a routine every morning. We were initially going to the gym going to the, the library. So just trying to concentrate on their knowledge for their career paths. And then at the end of the live stream last night, pretty much towards the end anyway, um, got them all into careers. So now they're actually working in their fields and doing whatever they need to do to get promoted. And again, with uh, trying to spend the extra money that we're making on uh, more specialized books. And then the things I'd like to explore too, like what happens if you have 
left-leaning politicians and a bu- you create a bunch of, uh, you know, just criminals, lazy people that don't work. I don't know. You know, what kind of societies can you create? Speaking of societies, Sim City societies. I don't know if many people played that at all. I got where they were going with it, and I loved it. I loved Sim City societies. But again, as a standalone, I, I get it. But as a standalone, it's not fulfilling without the other things to put into play. Without societies being tied to Sim City, and without societies being tied to The Sims, you know. But overall, where they were going with it, the idea behind societies, and uh, you know, by creating religious societies or peaceful societies or angry societies or cyber societies and. It's pretty pretty interesting. So, and the buildings too. Like if you had more authoritarian buildings in the area, those would those were like moodlets. So I, I loved everything about what they were doing. Again, I would love to see it all to come together in a grand unified kind of thing. So, I mean, every building in your town mattered as far as what were you going for, what, what kind of mood. You want very efficient people and work, you know, uh, like the British worker, you know, or the German worker, just da, 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 or the Japanese worker. Right. So you have very authoritarian, totalitarian buildings and everybody's really on point And I hope that makes any sense. If you have no idea what I'm talking about. Like, I'd rather read the description on the box, if you don't mind, because you're not explaining it very well. Go look up Sim City Societies. Uh, I still have it around here, and I should probably load it up and do a series on that one. In conjunction with this one. You know, or what, what's going to be possible with Sims 5? Sims 5 is on my mind a lot. This is kind of forward thinking what I'm doing here with regards to either what's, what's going to be still coming for Sims 4 or Sims 5. And I'm hoping that the things that I'm talking about, like, you know, bringing back different types of gameplay, SimCity gameplay, Sim Society's gameplay... Streets, copter, tower, yada, yada, yada. Including all the others that they've already got, you know, uh, country living, cottage living, ranch hands, farming. We really need industrial. Industrial is the one of the, uh, normally it's the farming in the SimCity games that takes the back seat. Farming and green and agriculture and the food supply mattering. Like you can't have a, a, a city of, 500,000 to a million people 250 to 5 to a million without a solid food supply and so you could have these stupidly large cities in uh, Sim City and even in like cities and food just doesn't matter food just is just um, magically comes out of the air like manna from heaven and it's never a concern you don't it's an afterthought And that's not right. What kind of simulation is that if the food doesn't matter? So food has to matter. And I've even noticed here when doing shopping, that's something else I'm going to try with this one. Right when I'm shopping, I notice that, you know, there's only like uh, 10 carrots available or one or two grapes. It's not click as many as you want. So if I were to create more 
farmers. Now, with the next group of eight, we'll create eight eight farmers that sell all their stuff to farmers markets and stuff, or they sell their food. Will there be an impact on the food? Okay. I've also noticed with energy, when you have a character, or I've created multiple characters that are, they're like, I like the cybernetic stuff and building robots. And I love having my own wind sources. But what I've done is um, normally I have an abundance of wind farms, uh, wind turbines and solar stuff that I have enough to sell back energy to the city. Right, and I've noticed that the city also, or your region or neighborhood, also has, you know, levels that they're trying to reach that you're paying for. So the more sims that you have, for example, a city for rent comes up, and you start putting 50 people on every lot. Where's the electricity coming from? Are the, You know, again, those are the kind of things that, well... Does it matter? Well, you can, you know, they should make it so, you, okay, well, if you've loaded up and there's no energy production, not enough people working in energy, not enough people uh, in the neighborhood or in the region that have wind turbines and solar generators to supply every sim that you have. So region play was a big deal with the uh, region play was very big in in Sims 4 and Sims 2013. So uh and sharing resources and moving things around. For example, one of the first things that people usually do is they create a power plant. Right? But normally when you first start out creating a large power plant is creating way more energy than you need. And you're just trying to get a budding city going. Right? So in one city you might start building but then immediately move to another region. And start another city there without any power. And start a very small farming community or something. Right? Then you can sell, you can buy power from the other region. From the power plant that you just created. Right? And now they start supplying. And then you go to another region. You open up and you start supplying them power. So one region or one neighborhood, in this case in The Sims, their they're neighborhoods or worlds... Where uh, one world can connect to the next, to the next, to the next, to the next. I noticed in the policeman, in one of the things when you go out there into the uh, into the community to do your work, it seems like it sent me to a different world at one point as a police officer, which to me in my head immediately says, well, of course, because police officers can be global. They are in The Sims. Well, if, uh, I want to say Sims 4 and 2013. So if there, if you have an overabundance of police officers, they're able to, during their patrols, go into other regions. Anyway. That's where all these questions are leading me is to continue creating large groups of specialized NPCs and eventually I want to go out there and install, start working on all the NPCs themselves. What are they doing? Are they working? What What are they doing? Do I need to introduce them to these guys? Are they, you know, again, especially that, are they working? Are they working? Are all the businesses working? Are there any homeless? Like most people, normally I play The Sims and I just concentrate on, you know, one character. You're not thinking about citywide play or, or region play. For rent is going to give people a lot of stuff to think about. For rent is a really, it's a really interesting, interesting thing that they are doing. Of 
where do they all go to work? You start creating an, an overabundance of Sims, you know, where do you get them to work? I, it's it's getting interesting, that's for sure. Where are we at? We're at the top of another hour here, ten o'clock in the Midwest. And in Sim World, it is four thirty-eight in the morning. I'm sorry this is very boring and uh, last night was not boring because I was moving eight of them around all the time none of them had a job I was just spending the first week or so or a month just working on their selves personally so we had like twenty thousand dollars to sit on and so for the first days you know, I'm letting them get to know each other, moving them around, going to the gym, going to the library, going to the nightclub, going out to eat, going to the di uh, the bistro. Just putting in a routine of building themselves up. Learn something, go eat something, go work out, go out and dance and be popular, and rinse and repeat. And then towards the end of the last night's live stream, getting them all started in their careers. And I still may have kind of jumped the gun a little bit getting them started too soon but I, I gotta try to figure out how to hurry up because I can't spend this this much time so that uh, so tonight I've been thinking about how to do that how am I gonna speed up like the next group in the next group because I want to start cranking out groups and so I'm thinking about using the shell I'm buying all these books that will help you know, lot you know, logic and writing and cooking and handiness, which all Sims need to have. And using this as like the test the dorm for the groups. Where I'm gonna put these Sims, how I'm gonna break them up and move them around, I'm not even sure yet. So my first thought is I need to so I've got three doctors. So right at the moment, try to put one of the doctors, one doctor here, one doctor in another next town over, whatever, and same thing with the politicians and the cops. So Christine is the one who own who own uh, is the own uh, my wife. Christine, my wife, is the one that purchased uh, her and the, the the kids. They have all, almost all of the Sims 4 content. And so there's a lot of worlds. So potentially, you know, have to create a dozen doctors, a dozen cops. Maybe. I, you know, I just... Why didn't you go to sleep, man? Oh, we've already worked with him. Fire in your 
So the way mm, turn this down. So I was trying to hurry to get the re the required things done there with the doctor, but as I was looking over there, uh, I have the ability to I see now to examine the patients and treat the patients and get them out of the beds. And then I looked over at the door and there's a long line of people. So while I'm trying, I'm thinking, yeah, well, I really need to get my job, my jobs done. All these patients aren't being treated. And that's very much like SimCity. If you don't have enough doctors and enough Sims aren't being treated, your population starts dying off quicker. And so my thought there was is, well, let's concentrate more on the patients, you know. We can get promoted, but... Uh, So try to find, uh, again, keep advancing him, but at the same time, take some time to see how many patients you can get done. Great clock in the afternoon. Goes there. <laughs> He's wrong. Freaking out.
What? He's all sad again. Man! He was all super happy. He talked to somebody that totally made him sad. Getting his social up. Give him an hour or two to socialize. Come on, man, go in there and relax, have some fun. He's not helping himself at all.
my feet start to tremble, they lift up the ground. I leave it all behind, and I can see the horizon. It's calling my name. I leave it all behind. I'll rise above, above all that I hold dear. I'll never fall. I'll always soar across the sky. Well, that's doing it. Discussing his politics. That helped quite a bit. Oh, that's taking the social down. Uh oh. Got a social back up to good levels. in the morning we gotta get the group home Twenty-five minutes after the hour. I'm about ready for another coffee or something else to drink. My sim needs are kicking in.
I can't believe he didn't sleep. This We sent him home so he could get well rested and he blew off being here and didn't take care of himself. You son of a gun. You ruined the whole dynamic. That guy totally messed himself up. I thought he would go home and do the right thing and get plenty of sleep and rest, and he didn't. Now he's at work, dragging butt. Alright, let's try to get one of these guys promoted.
in the downtown lights start to come out at night we go insane we go insane and when i arrive i start to lose my mind I go insane. and i wonder if you can reform criminals like being nice to them it's probably not but <laughs> If you can get them to trade, change up their careers, or tr change trades, supposed to be able to. You're like, well, I, I like being a criminal, you know, and uh, I like I like stealing stuff and generally being bad. How about you? Uh. Those fingerprints, shall we? Right there. Yeah, yeah, here we go. Easy. Uh oh, damn things acting up. Can we try it again? All right. Yeah. What? What? Did you do something with your fingerprints? You sandpaper your fingers? What? How can I get not get a reading on you? Come on. Come on. Aha. That's who you are. You already know the drill. He went on his own. All right. I have to talk to the chief. Well, die, you know, kind of like this. See? They're bad, I'm good. Alright. We're done, Chief. Alright. Done talking to the Chief. Look like I go, we're supposed to talk to him. Everybody go. Well, everybody left. I can't discuss, so let's head to the crime scene.
Oh no, she's split. Hey, Dr. Thompson got promoted. Doc Thompson promoted a medical assistant. Make 12 bucks extra an hour. X-ray machines are now available for use at work. Scan and exam patients. I can give medical advice. I can now give bad medical advice. Wow, you can be a... That's horrible. That's war, man. I mean, if you're playing multiplayer, you could actually... Uh, Either way, with one of those sims running around your neighborhood that's an anti-doctor and giving people bad medical advice, there'll be videos on that in the future that uh, when we're dealing with large populations. Well, that's one way to reduce your population. <laughs> Sometimes they really make me question them Decides to eat their food while he's there. You schmuck. He's there as a medical examiner. It's a poor doctor's facial hair. <laughs> what?
I mean, you return to the police station. Click on your sim. Yeah. Oh. Nice, 400 bucks. He'll probably get promoted. All right, what's your shape? Pay the bills, he paid the bills. Great, she advanced. Doing great. Ah, I could use some social, but doing good. Go, your mess. Let me start the water back on. Oh good.
I thought that would help his social jump doing those things and using your phone to do that and didn't do a spot. Make up your own rules as you go Stay only true to what you know and who you are And who you are The road may be rough, you might not see the top But when it's don't quit and when it's don't stop The leaf may look large, you might think that you'll fall But when it's all been born, when it's Some of these sims, their autonomy is just, they can't take care of themselves.
Why won't she eat it?
They need to get better sleep. All right, five minutes after the hour here. Booda, booda, booda. Just plugging away with this first eight still. Medics. Detectives. Well, doctors, cops, and a couple of politicians. One astronaut in the group is the one odd out one. The odd one out. Should be the other guy. It's kids.
An RKO radio production of The Sims 4. So trying to raise up this first group of eight as specialists. So like the doctor, they now have the, um, well, at least one of them has the ability now to just talk to people and help them out and diagnose problems and treat people. That's how it seems. So as an NPC, once I move on to somebody else, he can walk around helping people. So same kind of thing. I'm trying to work these all of them up to that level.
I don't know what else I can collect. I'm not seeing anything else. Three out of five. Got one of them moved up, moving up. So now I make an additional 16 per hour. Remote policies interaction. Secure vote interaction. Make empty promises interaction. Promoted a civil servant. So now, again, promote policy interaction, secure vote interaction, make empty promises, or ask for small and large bribe interactions. Promote policies and secure voting. Very nice. We're missing one thing. Oh, pardon. What is it? you out you would have to go
Got it. Chemical an uh, analyzer in the computer. Oh no! You didn't get to finish. Back to the 
date Holding hands and laughing the nights away Will things ever be the same? I was a man and I want it back that way Chasing our dreams for what it would seem A family, two kids, and a house by the sea Those were the days I felt they would change Now I'm standing here wishing back to that way What is going on with the rest of these guys? I had requested tables for everybody and the only ones that sat down are the two doctors so far. They're all ignoring me. Got a waste of time then. Sit down. Dining out is, I don't know. She hasn't even sat down yet. He hasn't sat down yet. They're dancing and not doing their thing. That beard that Joe's grown. Goofy. to poop himself.
Aurora Jean. The waitress is outside showering in the rain. I'd rather have my food. So maybe we need to find these characters and approve them <laughs> next. Prove their efficiency. All right, there's your food, finally. This one has been Everything went smooth last night. Everybody seat got themselves seated immediately and you can do one order for the whole table and everybody got fed and out the door and it was a nice thing, but not tonight.
try that next time. Goodness gracious. I have to tell him to eat too? What? Three o'clock in the morning. That's this was ridiculous. Worst thing I've done so far. over there didn't eat his food how stupid wrap this one up here and keep playing but this is as far as we're getting tonight so got a couple of them got a couple of them promoted tonight and moved up further and I'm gonna keep playing but I don't want to do another like 13 hour live stream or 8 hour live stream like we did last night that was just too much and tonight yeah I want to keep I'm gonna keep going but no point in uh, live streaming everything. So I was hoping to get a little bit further tonight and get another group of eight going, but maybe tomorrow. All right. Thanks for tuning in tonight. And let me go to my, hopefully I got the right message screen up this time. No, we're not starting. We are ending and we've got the proper title up tonight for number three. I'll get more creative with the uh, cover art here soon, and I will see you tomorrow.